Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a model parachute so that you can complete an investigation looking at how the surface area of the material will affect how quickly the parachute falls or if you just want to have um, some fun with a model parachute. So you're going to need a plastic bag or if you don't have one of these you could use paper instead. You're also going to need some string so you're going to want four pieces that are roughly the same length. I've made mine 30 centimetres. A ruler. A pen. A sharp pencil. And a small container like this. So this one I cut from an um, a egg box. But you could use a small yoghurt uh, container as well. The first thing you want to do is measure your parachute material. So I'm going to make mine uh, 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. And if you are doing the parachute investigation, you would then start increasing that to maybe 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres and so on. So take your ruler and your pen and measure your square, which is 10 centimetres on each side. I forgot to mention you do need scissors as well. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut out my parachute material. And I'm making sure that I'm really cutting along the line so that the measurement is accurate. Okay, so now I've got my parachute material. The next thing I need to do is take my sharp pencil. I'm going to poke a hole in each corner of the material. So you need to watch out for your fingers with this, you don't want to poke yourself, so very carefully just poking it through. And if you need to make it larger because we're going to thread the string through the hole, if you just um, twist your pencil back and forth then it should make it larger. So I'm going to do that in each corner. Okay. So now you need to do the same with your um, container you're using for the kind of um, basket or bucket that your um, figurine is going to sit inside, like I've got my finger puppet Ben inside here. So you want four holes at roughly the same um, height. Once again, taking care as you poke through with the pencil and you may need to twist back and forth to make the holes. Okay, so I've got my four holes. So next, I'm going to get my pieces of string and I'm going to tie one side to the bottom part and one side to the parachute. I'm probably going to need to tie about two knots to keep it secure. So I'm going to do that with each of the holes. There we've got one done, I'm going to do the others now. So there you have your model parachute and at this point you can get a figurine whether it's a little um, model Franklin or, or something else, be, um, um, a Lego man or a toy soldier and you might want to add some blue tack into the, into the basket to keep them secure and I hope you enjoy investigating.